Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you a browser extension that I've been using for about a week now that I don't think I can live without anymore. This right here is Bionic Reading. Now what this is going to do is help you easily read through text more efficiently. If you're somebody like me, I'm a little bit dyslexic and uh, probably an ADHD case. And this really helps me actually <laughs> This uh, this definitely has been helping me actually read through and better focus on the stuff that I'm reading. Uh, what is bionic reading? This is a new method uh, facilitating the reading process by guiding the eyes through text with artificial fixation points. As a result, the reader is only focused on highlighting or on the highlighted initial letters lets the brain complete the word. Now there's a lot of different things and browser extensions and fonts that you can use to kind of help you read things, especially a lot of the uh, dyslexic friendly fonts and even a uh, comic sans type fonts are really good for helping people read through text that would normally struggle, but this is just one of the many options available to you. Uh, when it comes to finding out what will work for you to help you read through things, it's just gonna be a matter of experimentation. And this is a, a really good start here. Uh, Bionic Reading is the GitHub name. It also goes by the Jiffy Reader. Uh, you can see kind of an example right here. I'm gonna actually install this on Firefox real quick and kind of show you how the extension works. But you can see here how it uh, bolds those first few letters. And for me personally, reading through this is a lot easier than reading it through this. Right now the extension is available on the Chrome extension store. It is not currently available in the Firefox store. They say that right here, this will remove the extension when the browser is closed. Uh, this will be solved once they actually get the extension in the store. But I'm gonna show you how to uh, do this as a temporary add-on and the instructions are right here. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a copy, the about debugging runtime, this Firefox, and I'm gonna scroll up here and go to the latest releases. The latest one was two days ago, very active project. So if I go to Firefox XPI right here, oh, it tried to install, corrupted, it's not gonna let me. So I'm gonna right click on that, I'm going to save the link as, and then we can just throw that into my downloads folder, I'm gonna save that, there we go. So now let's paste this in the about debugging page that we just copied. And right here under temporary extensions, we can load a temporary add-on. And then from here, I'm gonna grab this Firefox XPI file, hit open, and there we go. We now have the temporary extension. You could see it right here actually. So let's actually go ahead and go back to that GitHub page because it should work on just about every website. So here it is, and you can see the general paragraphs here. It does not look like that. But if I go over here, click on this extension, you can see toggle reading mode is off and you could do toggle on by default. I'm just gonna go ahead and check that. So that way when we load pages, it will be enabled, but let's go ahead and turn this on. And you can see below is a screenshot demonstrating how the extension works. So it's working perfectly fine. We do have some options. This first option here succeeds interval. This will change how many words in between. So if I add one, you can see it's skipping. So now it's every other. If I do another interval, it's gonna be the word, one, two, another one is bolded. So you play with that and pick what works best for you. And then here we have fixation length. So if I have it as long as possible, it's gonna be usually over half the word or as little as possible one, which will be the first one or two letters, depending on how long the actual word is. I prefer the default on everything that looks good to me. And I will know at least on Firefox, I'm having some issues. So if I Google something, there it is we're having uh, some rendering issues with the website. So this is probably why it's not in the Firefox store as of yet. It's only happened with that extension enabled, but it only does that when I Google things. So even like on a YouTube, which is a pretty complex website, you can see it's working. We have no significant issues and some of those are bolded there. Now, if we go back additionally, you saw here we have a line height option. So you can actually add some more uh, gapping in between the individual lines of text if that is something that will help you out as well. So just a little quick video showing you that extension that has been helping me out. It might help you out. And I'll link to some other resources down below, including this video by Wolfgang. It's a fantastic video called uh, Why I Paid including a link to this video right here that you'll probably see on the screen now to uh, Wolfgang's video on why I use a paid terminal font. 
wonderful video. I do recommend you check it out. And with all of that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.